Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Google is wanting to take a so-called feather out of Microsoft's cap. And according to reports, is working on a feature in Google Chrome that could be very similar to Microsoft's recall, which undoubtedly is going to cause a bit of debate in certain circles. Now, according to reports, Google is working on a new AI feature that will perform what we would say day-to-day -day tasks in the Chrome web browser. And this new AI technology apparently is called Project Jarvis, spelled J-A-R-V-I-S, which stands for just a rather very intelligent system. And according to reports, could be unveiled by Google before the end of this year, 2024. Now, apparently Jarvis uh, is designed to help you perform various tasks such as conducting research, uh, purchasing products or booking tickets online, just to mention a couple of simple examples. And according to Google's CEO, um, Jarvis um, is described as an agent. And agents are intelligent systems, apparently, that can reason, plan, and use memory to think. And a practical example of this, um, one of these examples provided would be if you were doing online shopping, where um, a user could take a photo of a pair of shoes they had ordered and then ask Google Gemini, which obviously is Google's AI chatbot equivalent to Microsoft's Copilot, and then ask Google Gemini to assist them to return the shoes. And then Gemini can scan through mails in Gmail, find the receipt, fill out a return form, and then add a reminder in Google Calendar to notify the user about the orders pickup. So that's just a, another simple example of how this could all work. And according to The Verge, they have said that um, powered by a future version of Google's Gemini, Jarvis reportedly only works with a web browser and apparently it's tuned specifically for Google Chrome. And the tool is aimed at helping people automate everyday web-based tasks by taking and interpreting screenshots. So as I mentioned, very similar to what we get in with Microsoft's Recall. So by taking and interpreting screenshots and then clicking buttons or entering text and the information writes. In its current state, it apparently takes a few seconds between actions and that's a summary apparently given um, by The Verge. Now, so what this all means at the end of the day is that uh, Jarvis will capture screenshots of um, your screen frequently and then analyze the data in images and then it will interpret actions such as clicking on a button or typing something in a text field. And as mentioned, this could be very similar to what we get in with Microsoft's recall. And Project Jarvis apparently could be powered by Gemini 2. Apparently Gemini is on Gemini 1.5. So Gemini 2 and could be released in preview form in December of this year, 2024, according to reports. So quite a lot going on with this project Jarvis. Now, just on a side note, there is a new flag called contextual queuing that's just become available in Chrome Canary, which is obviously an early preview version. And this flag might be related to project Jarvis, but as I said, might be related. And it's just coincidental that this new flag has become available. And then obviously, it's expected that Google could unveil project Jarvis by the end of this year. So if we head over to our Omnibox in Chrome Canary and enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and in the search we just enter queuing. I've already enabled the flag. Contextual queuing reads as enables the contextual queuing systems to support showing actions. And I have enabled it and at this stage I can't see anything different in the browser. So obviously this could be coincidental but it might be that um, this could be related to Project Jarvis. But anyway, I'm going to keep a close eye on this one because obviously I know this is going to gain quite a lot of interest and just want to let you know that Google seems to be working on a very similar feature to Microsoft's recall called Project Jarvis. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.